Greetings viewers, I am Eric the Car Guy. Thank you for tuning in today. Now in today's episode, I have partnered up with Loctite to inform you of something pretty important uh, with your vehicle builds or even with like your major repairs and things like that. And that is to go back over the fasteners and things after a few miles, like maybe 500 miles on your builds and recheck all the fasteners and everything that you use to put that vehicle together. During the process of doing this on my dad's truck project, I found something very concerning, and that was a few bolts that were missing that held the rear caliper bracket onto the axle housing of my truck. Now, if this would have failed completely, it would have been catastrophic and could have caused a lot of damage and possibly caused me to have an accident. So. It's not just a good idea, it's an imperative to go back and check these things. Before dealing with the missing fasteners, I went around and completed my inspection of the suspension and retorqued any loose fasteners that I found. In particular, I found the U-bolts to be very loose. I got quite a few turns on these before I got back to the torque spec. This is probably due to the fact that the U-bolts have settled, stretched, whatever. But if you have U-bolts on your build in particular, go back and recheck the torque on those periodically, not just after the build after a few hundred miles. I'd check those on a regular basis just to be safe. Now, in addition to inspecting all the suspension fasteners on the truck, I also rebuilt the engine in this truck. So I went back and checked the fasteners on that as well. And I'm glad I did. I'm really glad I expanded my inspection to the engine because I believe I found the source of my oil leak. And that is, you can probably see between the intake manifold and the cylinder head up there and a little bit along the china rail, a little bit of oil was seeping out along with a teeny tiny bit of coolant. I found that the intake manifold bolts were a little bit loose as well as the valve cover fasteners. Those had worked loose as well. So be sure to go back and check these things and well, you may be able to solve a problem like I did with this oil leak. Followers of this build may remember that after I took this truck out for the first time, there was an engine knock that turned out to be loose flex plate bolts. Well, I didn't install Loctite on those initially when I installed them, but I sure as heck did after I took the engine out for a second time to deal with that knock. I talked to Loctite and they recommended this uh, Loctite 243. And the reason they recommended this next generation thread locker is because it has oil tolerance and there's also no need to use a primer with this thread locker. I didn't want to take any chances. So I went back and replaced all eight of those fasteners with new and added a little bit of Loctite to each one of those threads on all those fasteners so that I can ensure that they will not work loose again in the future. Cause a little problem like that could turn into a catastrophic failure down the road so you want to make sure that those fasteners are secure if you've got a build vehicle like this or even maybe a repair that you might have done you know just go back after a few miles and check things and a build like this i'd say about 500 miles and some of your repairs well you know every time you service it just look around and make sure that all those fasteners are secure you don't want a little thing to become a catastrophic failure later down down the road uh, fun fact did you know that loctite was the inventor of thread locker technology well, the next time you need a thread locker, I suggest Loctite. I'll link it down in the description, along with a link to ericthecarguy.com if you have automotive questions. So check the description for additional information. Thank you so much for watching today. Be safe, have fun, stay dirty, and I'll see you next time.